Hi, and welcome back to the Corona Learning Series. I'm Diego Cordero, and I'm the BI Lead and Data Strategist at Provision. Today, we'll be looking at Sysense blocks and specifically how to create a Chevron process using HTML. Blocks in HTML can help you white label your dashboard. You can create custom widgets with little code and that which wouldn't be available out of the box. You can create uh, add CSS styling to your dashboard or to the blocks element that you're creating. And you can uh, create a smart graphic element, which will be what's, what we will be creating today. And, and, and that is a graphic element that you can add data to it. And let's just write, jump right into the demo. And first of all, I'll show you this HTML file that I created. It's a very, very simple uh, HTML with um, four div elements in the body. And they have two elements in, in each of them. Um, it has say CSS style here and I've minified everything so that we can copy and paste that into blocks. And as you can see, we don't need the container uh, because blocks already has it. And um, I'm going to delete this margin as well because we don't need it. But uh, first, let me show you how this looks like. Um, so this is how what we want to replicate on blocks. So now let's go ahead and copy paste these elements into blocks. Now, this is our recruitment demo dashboard with a fake recruitment agency. And it's, uh, it shows how many candidates they have, the average days to recruitment and many other KPIs that are useful for a, a recruitment agent. And now let's go ahead and add one blocks widget that go that is through advanced configuration. We go into blocks here, Whoa, that one, and we're going to get rid of the default styling, the default text, and the default background, which is yellow. We're going to do white. And now we have a container and a text block. But what we need is a column set. So let's change that to column set. Change that to column. Sorry, columns. We're going to copy and paste this. And that we change to column. Here, items. And what we need here is a text block. Now, here you can see that it already renders something. Here is where we are going to copy and paste um, our first element. And you can see the text there. And now we're going to copy and paste the text the style, sorry, uh, at the top. So here we have style and you can see that it renders well, our first element. But as you can see, it um, should be 25% and we have already this class here. So we can go ahead and add that class. And when we copy and paste the different columns, you will see that it works. And now if I change the configuration as an editor, you can see that the spaces and the tabs have been sorted out for me in blocks. It's that smart. Um, so we can copy and paste the different columns and then go back to our code and copy and paste in its correspondent uh, text element. So there's one. Two. And then our fourth one. There we go. Now we have four. Now we need to add data to that. So here we're going to add talent search and let's just name that talent. We're going to add short listing, screening and short listing and for, and we can call that screening, uh, interviewing. So these are all values and I'm changing the names interviews
I'm changing the names so that it's easier to uh, to read on blocks. Now we're gonna look for all the number elements here, and we're gonna change them. So this to show the data, you need to add curly brackets, then panel, which is one of these, and then the name of the panel, talent, and you can see the number there. And then we'll just copy and paste that. And then change it. So here we have upper interview screening interviews screening. I'm going to go ahead and apply. And now we have our blocks element here, which I'm going to drag up and paste here. And that's it. And next up, we'll be creating this custom bar chart. Thank you.